Okay, I'm gonna show you how to put a electric starter on a 4A032 engine. First, you're gonna have to take the cover plate off. This is right under here. And uh, this was only put on to keep the uh, air flowing properly. You gotta take two bolts out. And because of the thickness of the starter, you're gonna have to get a couple bigger bolts going to be a little bit longer. So now I got my two bolts, I got my starter, and what we got, the problem here is their spacing between the holes is not right, so we're going to have to file these closer to the edge, about one sixteenth of an inch. Take a rat tail file, just file closer this way, and closer this way, and the idea is uh, this is a planetary gear type starter. There are planetary gears in here. It means it's geared down. And uh, the mesh of this starter has to match the gears. The ring gear on here has to fit, fit into this. Uh, and this starter just happens to work perfect. Uh, the diameter, the biggest problem trying to find another starter is uh, the diameter of the starter will not fit in here. In this Playing. That don't matter as long as you got the bolts. This is a metric starter. This is an SAE engine. Everything's SAE on here. This is metric, so we got to make this fit. I forgot to mention that uh, this is a Bosch starter. This is uh, from a BMW 318i. You can get them just about any year. Uh, some of them will be threaded in the holes. Uh, I already mounted one that was threaded, but you can file the threads right out. That's no problem. And uh, you can get get these on eBay. I paid uh, twenty four dollars for this one. Uh, I paid forty five dollars for another one I bought. But uh, if you buy the twenty four volt starter and put on these, these are twenty twenty actually twenty eight volt. Uh, no, they're 24 volt uh, starter from uh, military surplus. It's going to cost you around somewhere around 80, 100 bucks, even sometimes more. If it's a new starter, you'll pay more than 100 dollars. If it's a rebuilt, you'll be 80 dollars plus. But uh, if you want to start with 12 volts, you want to get a starter like this and use 12 volt battery. Okay, now that I put a, a little bit bigger hole in these than I had to, you know, still fit. These are 5 16 inch bolts, and uh, the original holes were about 3 8 so I really didn't have to cut as much. Of it. Okay, so what we're going to do is snug these up a little bit so I can still move the starter around.
And what we're going to do is we're going to put 12 volts just on the solenoid just to see how these gears mesh up. Make sure they're not too tight, not too loose. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. Okay. That's a little bit too loose, I would think. Yeah, that can go. I can go a little bit tighter than that. So I'm gonna have to file these holes in a different direction because I can't move this anymore. Right, there, move some. Oh, I got enough room. Just made it too tight. Yeah, that looks good. So keep this as tight as we can get it. Right about there. My cables are a little bit too thin here to be cranking the starter. But it works. I haven't fired this engine up for 10 years. Okay, we're going to see if we can start this. Hasn't run for 10 years. 2004, I think, is the last time I run. One thing nice about ethanol and gasoline, it will dissolve old gum deposits from gasoline left in. It may take a while. There's a primer lever on this fuel pump, so I can pump up the carburetor. Okay, there she is.
this nice electric start. It's all we need.